What is up guys? Today we're looking at a pretty weird one. This is Ohishi Sherry Cask. Now, don't get this one confused with the Ohishi Sherry Cask single cask. Uh, this thing is not made from just one barrel. Obviously, this is a Japanese whiskey. It is distilled in Hideyoshi on the island of Kyushu, Japan, which is the southernmost island of the main four. It is a rice whiskey with no age statement on this bottle. That's becoming more and more common with Japanese whiskey. This thing's been aged for however long in sherry casks, and you can pick this up for about 70 bucks. This bottle is 42.1% alcohol or about 84 proof. Um, I've also seen different iterances of this same bottle, clocking in at either 40.8% alcohol all the way up to about 42.3%. So there's a couple different alcohol percentages you can find this bottle at. Now this thing gets even weirder because it is actually made of entirely rice grains. It's actually made of two different types of Japanese rice and then a blend of either malted or unmalted rice that goes into their mash bill. Another odd thing about this whiskey is that it's distilled in stainless steel pot stills instead of your more typical copper pot stills. And that should change the flavor makeup of this a little bit because copper does a really great job of filtering out and removing sulfur or sulfates. So this being made in stainless steel should have left some of those sulfur compounds within the whiskey and it should change the overall flavor of it. Gets even weirder because on the back label there is an outline of a box However, there's nothing in the box. It looks like there's space for either a picture or some information, but there's nothing there. I have no idea why this is on the label. Now there's no tasting notes on the bottle and there's very little information that you can find online. From what I could gather, it says a very medicinal, cough syrupy, grapefruity notes. But anyway, I'm gonna open this up and give it a try. On the nose, it smells of vanilla, green grapes. It's definitely medicinal. And it's also like a dry sweet. It's kind of floral. It reminds me of either sake or plum wine. So it tastes very similar to the way it smells, except that you get a lot more alcohol off the palate than you do on the nose. It's got that dry sweetness to it. It tastes like pear, green grape, vanilla, a little nutmeg. It's tart, it's floral, very similar to sake. I definitely noticed the, the cough syrup or the medicinal aspect to it. It's weird. It's unique. Because this thing is so unique, some people seem to really love it, some people seem to really hate it. Right now, I'm really on the fence with this thing, so let's get into the scoring. Alright, getting straight into it. Ohishi is tart sweet light and floral it's fruity with green grapes pear tons of vanilla and a little bit of nutmeg it does have a medicinal quality to it overall it's very reminiscent of sake the strength at 42.1 percent is distinct but not crazy it's right around a standard range there is a bite to it it's not super spicy it's not super harsh but there is an alcoholic quality reminiscent to a fortified wine Okay, for the complexity, it tastes a lot like the way it smells. However, this is such an uncommon mingling of flavors. I'm going to give it a medium in complexity. And finally, price. It sits at around $70 a bottle, which might be a little on the high side. But if you consider this is a whiskey imported all the way from Japan, it is a one-of-a-kind expression with unique flavors. I don't feel like you're getting ripped off at this price point. It's not great, but it's not awful. Ohishi sherry cask flavor is as unique as the process is used to produce it. An offbeat whiskey expression so quintessentially Japanese, it's bound to create as many diehard fans as haters. Divisive, puzzling, and at times delicious. I'm giving this whiskey a 6.5 out of 10. If you've had this expression from Ohishi before, please rate it in the comments below. Or if you liked it yourself, feel free to go grab a bottle for yourself. As always guys, enjoy.